This video is designed to go over some of the key concepts that we touched on in lesson 1-6 titled Read and Understand. So what we did during the lesson is we would take a word problem and we would focus in on the different aspects of that word problem versus looking at the whole entire thing all at once. So we touched on a couple different questions. We looked at what do I know? What am I trying to find to help focus us in on the exact thing that we're trying to find within the word problem? We also have a mathematical problem and then the solution is just writing the answer in a nice complete sentence. So first of all, we'll take a look at our word problem. Kathleen hiked 12 miles, Mark hiked 8 miles, and Denise hiked 21 miles. How much farther did Denise hike than Kathleen? So it's important to look at what I know first of all in this word problem without even focusing in on trying to find the answer or anything like that. So first of all, I look at all the different aspects of this word problem and whether I need the information or not, I'm going to type it into what do I know. So I see that Kathleen hiked 12 miles, so I would write that underneath what do I know. I see that Mark hiked 8 miles, so I'll type that in underneath the what I know section. And finally, Denise, I know that she hiked 21 miles. Whether I need the information or not, I'm going to include it underneath the question of what do I know. Now we go to the second question, what am I trying to find? This will help us focus in on the exact question within the word problem. Now what I do a lot of times to answer this question is just basically look at the final question, which is right here, how much farther did Denise hike than Kathleen? So understanding what I'm trying to find will help me look at the parts of what do I know and see which facts I need and which facts I do not need anymore. Also, a lot of times when answering this question, you just may even simply restate the question that you're asking, but once again, it helps us focus in on what we're trying to find within the word problem. So as you can see, I just simply retyped in the question that they're asking me, but once again, this helps me focus in on the exact question that I need to answer within my word problem. Now I go to the next section, with this, which is the mathematical problem. So I see how much farther did Denise hike than Kathleen. So first of all, I need to see that Denise hiked 21 miles, and I know that Kathleen hiked 12 miles. So what I will do is I will do a subtraction problem, 21 minus 12, and that gives me 9. So that is my answer to the math problem. However, I'm not going to leave that as my final answer because I go down to the solution section of this story problem and I'm going to write the answer in a nice complete sentence. So you can see that I typed in a nice complete sentence. I just did not say the answer is 9 or just 9 miles. I typed in Denise hiked 9 miles more than Kathleen. And that is how you take a word problem, break it down section by section, focus in on the important aspects, and then come to an answer that you know for sure is correct.